Well, this is it. Three years of bacon fat frozen in jars. Out to thaw for the big day tomorrow. I will be making deep fried just about everything. A goose, fries, buffalo wings, hot dogs, burgers, and, well, just burning grease. So join us. Right. All right, so this is the basics of the setup. I've got my turkey fryer with the self timer that turns off if you don't keep it on every 15 minutes, which is pretty good in case you've got a, yeah, a, a stable but big fire you don't want to get close to going on, which, you know, of course we're going to try to avoid, but it's a good safety feature. Uh, I put it on a patio stone that I level just so it doesn't wobble or anything like that. So it's going to be, uh, you know, avoiding spills that way. And you can see in the back, I got a wheelbarrow full of sand. And I have three more bags of sand here ready to go, as well as uh, two fire extinguishers. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of people here today, and last thing I want is to, to hurt one of my friends. So, for a couple bucks of sand and a fire extinguisher on hand that I've already got in the house, it'd be kind of silly not to, not to do it. So... Okay. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use the boiling water. I think you probably. So I'm just heating up the grease with the uh, hot water. Now it'll pour out more easily. Get there. Oh, that's gonna be a mess. And there you go, 15 liters of bacon grease. It's gonna be time to heat it up to 375 and start chowing down. All right, so we've reached pretty close to 350 now. Uh, normally, it's recommended that you go up to 375 because when you put in your colder meat, it'll drop down a bit and you wanna cook at 350, but since uh, bacon fat smokes at 370, I didn't, well, first off, I don't want to go up to 375, but even going anything above 350 is going to be pretty hard. Uh, we have to keep the temperature really stable to not burn everything. So we're holding steady at 360 and we turned it down a bit so it doesn't go up. How many pounds is it? Ten pounds? It's a nine and a half. Well, Ten minutes. Nine and a half times three and a half. Fine. Woo! Yeah. Half an hour hour and and I meant to say. No, don't, don't. <laughs> it's all what? Oh, what I told you. Was it? 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 Was So you'll notice that there's a lot of voiceover for this video. It's because my genius friends thought having personal conversations next to the camera was a great idea. But anyways, what we're doing now is we're going to be flipping the, the bird, which is actually a goose, um, just, just so we can actually cook all of it because there's a little bit sticking out because the goose is longer than a turkey, turkey which is a lot rounder. Um, but as we cook it, eventually it's actually going to shrink a little bit, just enough that it actually fits very well under, under the oil level. Good. <laughs> wow. That's hot. 
Also, can I point out that uh, you're, you're front or whatever? You stand over here. Yes, we know oh, it's time. time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we we yeah. put it there. Can't okay, We put it there. So yeah. yeah. Thank you. We reset it. Oh, 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 turkey's done. <laughs> yes. So the reason that Ding was so victorious is because the timer is actually just a safety feature. It wasn't actually timing of the turkey, and and we had a running joke where every time it dinged, we'd say. Turkey's done, and you know, of course, as soon as our timekeeper came out and told us, all right, guys, 18 seconds, the thing went off. So, you know, pretty great. Oh my god, that looks like a... Like, uh, ready. Huh? This is so good. We're actually getting ready to make the best fries in the world by uh, frying thick cut russet, fresh russet potatoes we cut ourselves in the lard. Oh, 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 these are by far the best fries I've ever had. These are by far the best fries I've ever had. Now they have bacon, mm. bacon, bacon buffalo sauce. Bacon buffalo. Oh, uh, maybe one more minute, just to be on the safe side. That looks good, but I would do one more minute to be on the safe side. Guys. Apparently, what chicken is missing to taste better is a bit more pork. Up next. Deep fried cheese. Mmm. Usually better. You usually don't do it in bacon grease either. Not everything in bacon grease is better, right? No, I know. That's what we're checking out. How are we gonna know if we don't try it? I'm not sure you can get it yet. It's just gonna turn to goo. I mean, so I guess we'll learn. What could go wrong? Gang the tumba. A can full of bacon grease. It's empty. Oh, interesting. Whoa, seriously? Yeah, check. Oh, it melted through it. Oh, wow. I guess they're cool. All right, this is a roll of toilet paper. We're soaking in the bacon grease. And uh, I'm gonna let it sit here for a while until it's well soaked and have fun. 
The waving flame is so hypnotizing. This thing went on to burn for something like eight hours. It was absolutely insane. And the next morning, there was nothing left, just a little black spot. At this point, we figured that the funnest thing was actually just to, you know, scoop it to it in there. So that's what we did with, with something like that. 12 liters of hot bacon fat. Well, if you enjoyed this, or if it was helpful to you, well, I'm not quite sure how, but uh, like, subscribe, leave some comments, and uh, have a good day.